yeah we back we back now today man we got a we got an interesting video uh the social media streets is buzzing is buzzing uh as you already know simone biles and her husband they recently did an interview and the interview had asked them you know how did you meet how did you meet your wife how did you meet your husband whatever and the interview has stirred up a lot of conversation a lot of controversy on the social media streets and as you already know i'm gonna come in and get my commentary on the situation not wasting no time let's jump straight into the article simone biles fans are furious that jonathan owens said that he is the catch in their relationship when asked by the host channing crowder how in the hell did he manage to pull the most decorated gymnast in history jonathan owens responded and said it's really how she pulled me that's the question owens went on to explain that he did not know who simone biles was when she reached out to him on the raya dating app back in 2020 while this is not a revelation, Owen said the same thing in June 2021. He expanded on their origin story, emphasizing how little that he knew of her career. When she won the Olympics, I was in college and we didn't have NBC. We didn't have Olympic channels. He, he explained, noting that he realized she's got to be good because she had a bunch of followers on Instagram. Now, I'm going to play the clip. Hopefully, they don't strike me for copyright. Hopefully, they don't hit on your boy. You know what I'm saying? Let the black man eat. You know, let the black man eat. But anyways, I'm going to play the clip. And I'm gonna come back on my commentary. Let's go. For a couple of days, man, and it's like she pops up, and I'm like, mm, let me see who this is. Gymnastics. I ain't never, you know, I, I never really paid attention to gymnastics, so it, it, it piqued my curiosity, you know. So I'm like, okay, that's that's that's. I'll see what's up. I swiped her, and it said we match. So I'm just like, oh, okay, so I'm gonna see what's up. So I go do my workout, and I come back, and I get like, I had some likes on my Instagram, you know, and I'm like. <laughs> I'm like, oh, this might be. It. I'm like, okay. So I see what's up, and then I still waited. I'm like, man, I'ma wait. I'ma wait till I, you know, take a shower and everything. Then I come back to my phone, and then she messages me on the app, like, hey, you know what I mean? And I'm, man, that's a man. This gotta be fake. Like, I don't know. Just, I didn't know who she was at the time, but like the first thing that I saw was that she just had a bunch of followers. So in my mind, I'm like, okay, she gotta be good. If, yeah. I promise you, I'm a, I'm a real life story. When she won the Olympics, I was in college. And we didn't have NBC, we didn't have Olympic channels, and we're in camp. We're in camp late, late, late July, early August. So I'm not paying attention to, you know. So I never would have had a moment to where I would have watched, like, you know. Jonathan, I'm gonna let you finish your story, man. Continue. <laughs> <laughs> but like I was saying, man, she she messaged me. This is like a Tuesday, and we 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 were texting back and forth, and then we hung out Friday, man. And um, we couldn't do much as COVID happened, everything was shut down, so. Um, she came through down um, down to Houston. She lived in the suburbs, so she had to drive about 45 minutes to me. Um, then the rest is history, man. So, so you was really the catch in... I always say we the you. men the catch, man. I always say we the catch, man. Yeah. All right, we back. Now, let's take a look at some of the reactions on social media. Let's take a look up on the screen. This lady said, this is her cute to leave. Why is he competing with her? Now, anyways, Simone Biles, obviously, she's not bothered. She's not really feeding into the nonsense because if you go to her Twitter profile and you see the post that she has been liking, we're actually going to take a look at some of them today. But look at this first post right here. She had liked this post of somebody who had said she's married and is to a high caliber black man. Is that not what y'all want? Now, obviously, you know, shout out to the good brother, uh, Jonathan Owens. I think that's his name. I don't really follow sports, but. Shout out to the good brother, man. You know, shout out to the good brother. He got himself a good one. You know, on my channel, what is the one thing I always talk about? What is the most important thing on a woman? Not the phenotype, not the body type, not the... No, the most important thing is the proper mindset. The proper mindset. And if I'm judging Simone Biles, it seems that the brother Jonathan Owens, listen, he did his due diligence, man. He got himself a good one with a proper mindset. Now, let's continue. This lady said, this little fella tried to publicly humble his wife. And you have to ask yourself why? an internationally recognized exceedingly decorated elite athlete her obviously not him meanwhile we only know his name because they put it in the podcast show notes now i don't know why she's so angry at the brother you know what i'm saying it's not your man it's not your marriage it's not your husband it's not you know it's not your household you know you should have your own man that you tend to you should have your own husband you should have your own leader of your family that you worried about i don't know why you worried about simone biles but anyway let's continue anyways take a look up on the screen this lady said i have a lot to say but I'm going to shorten it and say successful black women need to stop marrying men they out earn. That wraps everything I have to say up. You will always be in competition with his ego and his need to bring you down some levels in some other ways. 
Now, honestly, you know, these women always talking about uh, don't date men that you out earn. But do you even have access to the men that out earn you? Do, do the men that out earn you, do they want you? Is your mindset compatible with them? Can they tolerate you for more than, you know, 30 minutes in the bedroom? You have to ask yourself that question. Now, let's continue. This brother said, meanwhile, Simone Biles, as you can see, listen, she's not worried about none of that nonsense y'all talking about. Listen, y'all not married to no millionaire top 1% black man, so stop it. You, you dealing with Derek from the block. You dealing with, you know what I'm saying, uh, Jamarcus who sell eights for $35. Like, bro, like, come on, man. Y'all dealing with dudes be riding bikes and shit. Like, stop it, bro. You know, you're not dealing with no black men riding Bentleys and Benzes and McLarens and all that shit, man. Stop it. And the crazy thing is, if these women talking on the internet had access to what's his name, Jonathan Owens, you'd be acting like a fan. You'd be acting like a groupie. You'd be hopping in the group chat, bragging and boasting and ranting and raving about how a millionaire black man is hopping in your DMs. You'd be bragging to all your friends. So stop it. I'm not trying to hear it. I'm not trying to hear the nonsense, man. Let's continue. This lady said. Mind you, he went undrafted, was waived by two teams, has not won a single championship, and is all around a below average player. So what in his mind would make him think that he is the catch? Now, this is what I don't understand, right? These women claim that, you know, they riding for women and they, they trying to defend Simone Biles. But do you think Simone Biles is going to listen to you disrespecting the man that she has decided to be the man of her life? You think she's going to listen to you? You think that that's going to be your way in? with Simone Biles by disrespecting the man who she has decided to be the patriarch of her family. You think she's gonna listen to you? You women are delusional. That's how I know y'all don't really have a lot of married women in your friend group. You were not raised by married women. You were not brought up and cultivated by married women. That's why that's why y'all talk very loosely and very inflammatory about the men that these women have in their lives. Because if you came up under a culture of married women, solid families, you would understand that you do not disrespect a woman's husband. Just like you don't disrespect a man's wife. But like I said, I can't really expect much from women who didn't really come up growing up seeing that, you know, live and direct in front of their face. So it is what it is. Like I said, everybody is a product of their environment. They can't really control it. Let's continue. This person said Simone Biles was on Tinder and drove 45 minutes for the first date. Y'all better than Simone Biles? <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, because I think in the video she said that she was actually the one who hopped in the whip and drove whatever it was, 45 minutes to go see him. Now, that's not out of the ordinary. You could be a regular you could be a regular black man and get this type of treatment. I've had women drive X amount of uh, hours to come see me. I've had women hop on a plane to come see a boy. That's that's nothing, bro. That's nothing. Women do that shit every day for regular everyday brothers who have regular jobs. You know what I'm saying? Regular brothers who make seventy thousand dollars, eighty thousand dollars a year. This brother right here, I don't know what he makes. NFL football player. I'm assuming he makes up in the millions. So you think it's out of the ordinary? You think these women talking on social media would not hop in their car and drive 45 minutes for a young a young black millionaire? You out of your mind, bro. You out of your mind. The same women running their mouth would be would walk would walk 45 hours to go see him, bro. Tell you right now. Let's continue. This lady said, "I be quiet when y'all talk about women shooting their shot. Real shooters shoot. There's no fear in my heart, and there's never been a time I didn't get what I wanted." Bro, what I just tell y'all, you think women is not gonna is not gonna hop in that whip, hop on a plane, shoot they shot if they really want something, brother. They gonna do it. Sometimes women will hop in the DMs if they really if it's really that serious, bro. And I encourage women to do that. I encourage y'all to shoot y'all shot. If you see something you like, shoot your shot, baby girl. Shoot your shot, man. You never know what could happen. You never know what could happen. Let's continue. This lady said, I'll catch a flight for my man. I don't give a fuck. Bro, what I tell y'all told y'all man women will hop on a plane hop in an uber hop in a taxi cab hop on a bike you know what i'm saying hop on a carriage horse and carriage you know <laughs> listen they'll do it if they really want you if they really feel you bro they gonna do it bro they gonna do it bro i've had it i've had a woman hop on a plane and pay for her own ticket one time brother just to see a boy nefakari that's Celine. <laughs> just to see a boy because she was so enamored by the conversation you know what i'm saying she was like oh my god this brother's so intelligent i gotta see you <laughs> They gonna do it, brother. They gonna do it. Let's continue. This lady said, I too have driven 45 minutes for a fine black man, so I'ma shut up. And at the bottom, she said, and I'll do it again. Brothers, what I tell y'all, man? What I tell y'all? Hey, women, ladies, shoot your shot, man. Shoot your shot. You never know what could happen. Let's continue. This lady said, they're on Beyonce's internet acting unusual. We have all been there before, and for some of us, it works out just fine in the end. And at the bottom, this lady replied and said, we just celebrated 22 years of marriage. So listen, this lady at the bottom said she shot her shot with her husband. She pursued her husband. You know what I'm saying? Because she felt that her husband was, you know, a man worth having. And they have been together for two decades. You know, shout out to them. Let's continue. This lady said, I have a hybrid car that's amazing on gas and has seat warmers to keep the kitty on purr during the journey. 
<laughs> yeah, let's continue. This brother said, I'm not even fine, and women have driven an hour for me. Brother, when a woman feeling you, she gonna do whatever, man. She gonna do whatever. Like, it goes beyond this driving X amount of minutes or hours. If a woman is really feeling you, she gonna, she gonna do whatever, man. That She gonna do whatever, bro. She gonna do whatever. Let's continue. This lady said, I've driven longer, and yes, it was worth it. <laughs> man, listen, I'm telling you, when a woman is feeling you, she is going to move mountains. There's no obstacles you can place in her path when she sees something that she likes. Now, let's continue. This lady said, I used to drive 90 minutes, an hour and a half, to see my boyfriend, and now we have three kids and we live together. Like I told you, like I told you, ladies, you see, you see something you like. Hey, closed mouths don't get fed, baby girl. Closed mouths do not get fed. Now, let's continue. This lady said, when a man dates a woman more successful than him and then publicly minimizes her accomplishments, puts her down and pretends he didn't know about her accomplishments, that's a very clear cut way that he's attempting to forcibly gain power over her. It's a big red flag. Now, women got to understand that men in general, especially men who have our own stuff, um, we don't really care about your accomplishments. Uh, you know, for example, I mean, my mother's an ER nurse, but when my father met her, she was not an ER nurse. She was just, you know, a woman, This uh, a woman that he was interested in. She wasn't an ER nurse. Right. So I don't think my father gets excited uh, due to the fact that my mother is an accomplished uh, ER nurse. I don't think he really cares about, you know, hearing about, you know, her days in, in the ER about this dude who came in with a broken leg or some shit like that. A dude who came in, you know, who got shot. You know, I don't think that's really um, the glue to their relationship. I think it's the fact that my mother has the mindset, like I say, the mindset necessary that he was looking for to build and establish a foundation for a family and a legacy. Right. So that is going to supersede your career. You know, you're a lawyer. Yeah, that's great. You know, yeah, go help your clients, you know, stay out of prison, whatever. Oh, uh, you know, you, you work in IT. You're a black woman in tech. Great. Amazing. But what, what, what about your mindset, though? What about your mindset, though? Where do you see yourself in 30 years, 40 years? Where do you see yourself in terms of the legacy for the family? How do you view the world? What is your mentality when it comes to geopolitics? Things like that. These are what's important to men, right? Do you respect me as a man? That is what that's that's going to be more important than your accomplishments, your accolades in your career. To be honest, when I'm out, when I'm not working, I don't even want to talk about work anyway. I don't want to talk about that shit, man. I want to get away from work. When I'm with a woman, I want to get away from work. I don't want to talk about work outside of work. So y'all women be too wrapped up in your work and your career and all that shit. That does not matter to men. That matters to you because you look at men in terms of his accomplishments, his accolades. We don't look at you like that. We don't look at you like that, right? A man could walk into McDonald's, see a beautiful woman behind the desk at McDonald's. And if she's beautiful and has the right mindset, he will take her out of McDonald's and upgrade her life because of the mindset that she has and the beauty that she has, right? So stop worrying about all that nonsense. Oh my God, your accomplishments. Your, I really don't care about your accomplishments because me as the man, I'm the one expected to provide. I'm the one expected to be the leader and the patriarch of the family. So you can brag about your accomplishments, but at the end of the day, it's not your accomplishments that's gonna be the power and the foundation to what we are building and establishing. It's gonna be me as the man, what I build, what I create is gonna be the legacy that we leave behind. So it doesn't even matter because even with all your accomplishments, the majority of women, they want a man who can provide enough to wear their accomplishments and what they can bring to the table. It doesn't even matter because what he brings to the table is 10 times greater anyway. So unless you plan to help out with the bills or contribute to the investments, why are you telling me about your accomplishments and your accolades? The majority of women do not want to pay their own bills anyway, right? You want a man who can provide. So if you want a man who can provide, why are you talking to me about your career? It doesn't matter. And like I said, a man will take a woman who's a waitress at Applebee's or working the counter at McDonald's. And if she is beautiful enough and if she has the proper mindset, he will upgrade her life before he upgrades your life. The decorated career woman with all the accolades and the success. Yeah, but guess what? You're looking for a man who's 10 times greater than you anyway. So it doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter. You don't plan to contribute anyway because you want to be provided for. So stop talking to me about your career working for the white man down on Goldman Sachs. Because unless you plan to financially invest in what we are building, it doesn't even matter. And the majority of women do not want to be a financial contributor to the household. They want a man who can provide for them. That's the ideal situation. So stop trying to talk out both sides of your mouth. I got a career. I got this money. But I want a man who can provide his money to me. Stop talking. Please stop talking. Like I said, a man will take a regular woman, 
working a regular job, a receptionist with the proper mindset will have access to the so-called top 1% elite men that you believe that you deserve and that belong to you. And she will be able to have access to those men and get married quicker than you with your insufferable mindset. You lead with your career. Oh my God, look at me. I went to this university and I got this degree and I went to this, I work at this corporation. Okay, but what is your mindset like? What's the mindset like? Oh, your mindset garbage? Okay, stop talking to me. Anyways, moving on. This lady said, the narrative should be how we can learn more to keep our black men happy. Black men get enough bad rep. We as women need to love and support them as best we can. Society wants us divided. Now, if these women really had a man, had access to men who, you know, like when I look at my mother, right? My mother for the past 30 years, she's had a man who's gotten up every day, at least five, six days a week. Same time every morning, came home the same time every night, got on, put on his suit and tie and went to work. So women who never had access to that type of man who got up every single day and went hard and was chasing the check they don't understand the concept of let's make sure that we keep our men happy let's let's make sure we keep our men in a proper headspace so we can get up every day and do what he's supposed to do for the family because if he's not in a proper headspace he's not going to be able to do what he needs to do for the family but due to the fact that a lot of these women never had access to that type of situation they don't really they're not familiar with that it's a foreign concept to them you know it's a foreign concept they hear about oh we got to keep our black men happy they get triggered they get triggered because they never actually had a man that was actually worth a damn now let's continue this brother said shout out to my good brother cam g verse rich black woman chases after a rich black man rich black man says that he was the catch rich black woman giggles and agrees <laughs> i mean yeah yeah i don't know what's the big deal man i don't know what's the big deal she don't got a problem with it why you got a problem with it anyway let's continue this lady said if this is what embarrassment feels like sign me up exactly they talking about they talking about he embarrassed her listen i promise you i promise you a multi-millionaire black woman married to her multi-millionaire young black husband listen i guarantee she's not worried about nothing y'all got going on she's not worried about what y'all gotta say the lifestyle she living just stop talking man just stop talking and let's continue this person said why are there so many successful black women partnered with losers like simone biles husband <sighs> This person said, if Simone Biles' husband was white, you would not be hearing any black woman trashing him for not being good enough. <laughs> that shit got damn near 2,000 likes. Oh, man. This brother replied and said, yup, they would have been like, aw, he wanted her for her and not her celebrity status. Man, you already know, man. You already know, man. They would have been tap dancing and, and, and belly dancing and, and belly rolling and doing all type of back flipping and like a damn gymnast. Bro, they would have been doing the most. They would have been doing the most. You saw you saw what they did for Serena's husband. Serena's husband, who just a regular dude who, who had a blog website. They tried to gas him up talking about, oh, he's a he's a white billionaire. He a billionaire. He a billionaire. He not no fucking billionaire. But just because he had the white skin. Oh, my God, Serena. Look at Serena, bro. Oh, my God. Look, I mean, look at this. Look at Serena and her husband, right? It don't even look right. You got Serena you know got her superior african genetics right and she done she done gave it away i mean look at her husband bro like i don't gotta say much do, do you think a woman of african descent with her genetics should be side by side with this <laughs> this don't even look right and then they tried to say oh he a billionaire he a bi he don't even got a hundred million dollars he don't got a hundred million dollars bro he don't got a hundred million dollars serena got black ex-boyfriends that got more money than this dude right here right now let's take a look at simone biles and her husband right now you tell me which couple looks better right you tell me which couple looks better i'm gonna go back to serena and her husband now i'm gonna go back to simone biles and her husband you see simone biles with her superior african genetics and you got uh the good brother jonathan with his superior african genetics and they look beautiful together now we go back to serena it don't look right bro it don't look right <laughs> it don't look right now let's continue this person said Remember how they assumed Serena's husband was a billionaire just because he was white? <laughs> they did the same thing. Y'all remember the rapper Eve? The rapper Eve, right? She married some some white European dude. They also said he was a big. Oh, he a billionaire. He a big bro. They just assume that anybody who's not black, he automatically coming with billions of dollars. Oh, he a billionaire. He a billionaire. He not even a billionaire. Hey, bro, I'm telling you, they just assume, bro, if, you, if you're a white man, you just automatically, you know, prepackaged with billions. You know, these women are living. They living in an alternate timeline, brother. Let's continue. This person said he could have been an assistant manager at Starbucks and he would have been considered as a catch. Real men know where this hit is coming from. And it's not what he said. It's who said it. 
exactly exactly I, I agree i agree i agree it's the fact that unfortunately for jonathan you a man of african descent you know you're a man of african descent so just for that alone you you lost some points for that alone unfortunately that's the reality we live in you know you don't have enough uh european uh genetic uh, admixture to uh call yourself a catch i'm sorry brother that's the that's unfortunately the cards were dealt as black as black men you know it is what it is though let's continue this brother said People who have not yet made it to the matching pajama stage of a relationship are giving two millionaires marriage advice. You cannot script this type of comedy. Man, that's real shit, man. Let's continue. He went on to say, we've seen y'all complain about the men y'all date, so we understand why a man considering himself as a prize may be a foreign concept to you. And the person on the bottom said, dating a man accomplished enough to feel that way about themselves isn't even in their wheelhouse it's all foreign territory at this point and i said that earlier a lot of women never had access to the type of man that they would be deemed as a man who's worth something a man who like i said gets up every morning same time comes home same time got a routine got a schedule got a got a goal got a vision got an objective got a legacy he's trying to establish they've never even been around and even soaked up the energy of that type of man so it's a foreign concept to them brother all they know is the bottom of the barrel that's, that's what they're accustomed to let's continue this person said They've been dating participation trophies, so a man being a prize confuses them. They don't know what it is to date a man worth keeping. Exactly. Let's continue. This white woman said, Simone Biles, if you see this, I know so many amazing divorce lawyers in Houston. Ah, <sighs> no comment, man. No comment. Now we got white women opening their mouth. Oh Lord. Moving on. This person said, a man in the top 1% getting called a loser because a well-accomplished athlete found him attractive. Now, listen, Simone Biles, she the one that said she seen what she liked, she drove 45 minutes, she reached out, she shot her shot, and she was successful, and she ended up with the ring, right? So she seen what she liked, she went after what she liked, and now she is Mrs. Jonathan Owens. I believe that's his name, right? So everything worked out, man, everything worked out. I don't know why you're so angry. I don't know why they're so upset. Let's continue. This lady said, I definitely shot my shot a couple of times and there is no shame in my game. What I told y'all. This lady said, I look at it like this. I'd rather get what I want than take what I get. What I tell y'all. This brother said, this is why I am in a relationship now. Women be on it when they shoot. I told y'all brothers, I told y'all. Ladies, shoot your shot. Shoot your shot. Tell you, shoot your shot. This brother said, my wife shot her shot and we've been together 10 years. Congratulations, brother. Congratulations. Let's continue. This brother said she got her man, so her pursuit worked. She is the champion gymnast. Losing is not in her vocabulary. I hear that. I feel that. And it's crazy that I've seen so many women acting as if it was their cross to bear. When if you take a look up on the screen, I mean, do you think Simone Biles, you think she's stressing? You think she worried? You think she's unhappy? No, nah, no. Nah. She got a young, rich, talented black man. You know, listen, I'm not the biggest fan of athletes. Like I always say. I like to champion the intellectual black man, right? The, the black man who got rich due to his intellectual capacity. But regardless of that fact, if you're a professional athlete, you are genetically one of the most superior specimens on the planet. So, and she's an athlete herself, so they're compatible. So regardless, she got what she wanted. She's a young, rich athlete. She got a young, rich athlete. It is what it is, man. She happy, why you mad? Let's continue. This lady said she drove from Atlanta to Macon, Georgia the day after she met her husband because she had to have him. I hear that, mama. I hear that. Let's continue. This lady says she took a six hour drive before and it was worth every mile driven. I hear that. Salute to y'all, man. Salute to the ladies who understands who understands when they got a man who's worth something standing in front of them and they don't want to miss the opportunity. They don't want to miss the train. They don't want to miss the bus. Shout out to y'all, man. I appreciate y'all. I fuck with y'all. Let's continue. This lady said she drove two hours and he was worth it. Hey, shout out to you. Shout out to you, baby girl. Shout out to you. Let's continue. This brother said, so y'all want everybody to break up? And then what? <laughs> exactly. But you got to understand, like I said, a lot of these women with all this anger and this venom and this bitterness and this vitriol and, this, you know, they never, they didn't grow up in a household where they seen a man who embodied, you know, like I said, a man who was worth a damn. Like I told you, a man who got up every single morning, came home, same time every night, routine, had a goal, had an objective for the family to reach. 
they never seen that they're not familiar with a black man who who embodies those characteristics so to them it's a foreign concept right you can hear it in the way they talk they're just delusional they're just delusional you know unfortunately for them i feel sorry for them but misery loves company they want everybody to join in their misery right but listen we ain't having that we ain't having that let's continue this lady said as a married woman for over 28 years i found nothing wrong with the interview this brother said why do y'all keep saying it couldn't be me about the simone Biles situation she's rich she's accomplished and she's married of course it couldn't be you silly goose <laughs> damn man. damn let's get city now simone Biles and her husband obviously you know they're not bothered by the situation because if you go to their social media accounts their instagrams listen they posting pictures of them partying and having a good time and you know just enjoying life man enjoying life and you sit on the holiday season talking about she needs to get a divorce or some nonsense and you already know who's not happy you already know who's unhappy around the holiday season man you already know who don't got no black man bringing them no presents for the holiday season man you already know you already know let's continue this brother said simone biles probably gave jonathan owens a look and thumped his shoulder over his comments before they hugged and went on with the successful genetically superior lives while some of y'all been dragging it for three days it's christmas sis call your family touch some grass yeah man y'all some of y'all gotta touch some grass man some of y'all gotta touch some grass matter of fact rental footage took my lunch break outside today so i can show y'all how to do this shit this is what i need everybody to get a just a pinch of that motherfucker get a, just a handful of that motherfucker shot just put your motherfucking hand on the shot just go outside and put your leave it there in summary i don't got a problem with anything the brother said I don't got a problem with Simone Biles shooting her shot, going after what she wanted. Uh, I like this couple. I like this couple. Uh, I like to see them together. I hope they stay together. I hope they make the haters mad. I hope they continue to make the haters mad. And I just want to reiterate to the ladies. Listen, ladies, it's not about your career. Nobody cares that you are a lawyer. Nobody cares that you are uh, a nurse. Nobody cares that you are a teacher. Nobody cares that you are a, a business owner. Uh, a man is not. A man does not grow up wanting to oh my god i can't wait to marry uh <laughs> i can't wait to marry a, a radiologist when i get older no a man is not he doesn't grow up thinking about shit like that that's what you look for in a, in a man that's what you look for we are not looking for that shit it's nice to have it it's it's definitely a bonus but we are looking for a woman with the proper mindset that is compatible with the legacy and the foundation for the family we are trying to establish and you're not going to get that by working a corporate job. You either got it or you don't. You are either cultivated to be a wife or you are not. Your degree does not give you wifely qualities. You know, I'm sorry to tell you, you know, your degree from Rutgers University or wherever you went to school at, they did not give you a class on how to be a black man's wife. You either got it or you don't. Those lessons were supposed to come from your mother, your grandmother, your aunties. They were supposed to cultivate you to be a wife. But unfortunately, many of y'all were not raised by women who are wives. But anyway, let's continue. We out, man. It's your boy Never Quiet. That's Elaine back in the building. Yes, indeed. Cash up on the screen, and I'm gone. Peace. Reincarnated, I'm back in original fashion. I left on a horse and came back in that ass, and I left with abundance and came back to famine. We used to be pyramids, now we be rapping. Look how the mighty have fallen. Used to be running, now we be walking. When you be cooning, that's when they applauded. Selling your soul, your sons and your daughter. Gotta come up in this shit. They stuck in the mix. Really, my heart would be breaking. That's why I'm stacking that paper and handle my business. Pass it down in generation. Talking about money and power and building a nation. That's a deadly combination. Never be watching the TV, they pushing the genus. Falsifying information. Now they got malice intentions. Step in the room and I'm feeling the tension. Enemy watching, he blocking my vision. Get for the check, cause I need my redemption. Building my kingdom, I need to protect it. Ready for war like a young money Congo. Never decided the team is the model. Up in the crib and I'm whipping up waffles. Up in the crib and I'm smoking gelato. I'm chilling, I'm taking my pain and making ambition. I'm blessed by the guys, but I ain't religious. I can't for the power, they can't for the bitch. They making no hour, they wage. I got business. This shit is an art. And they can never be taught. Selling my soul, I can never be bought. Play with my money, I see you in court. Run to the check and I do it for sport. Babylon falling, I go to the source. Packing my luggage and go overseas. Shorty be with me and she so elite. Shorty be charged that I'm calling her Hershey. Secret intelligence probably gonna murder me. Don't fuck with brands, cause nigga, I'm Haitian. Say the wrong shit and you're smacking their faces.